Guys, that's the Hard Rock, and tonight we have the Righteous Gemstones. It's a really, really funny, good show on HBO. And it's a cast party. So John Goodman is the, uh, he's righteous, and his sons are in the show. About a, uh, a religious family who are, you know, the top of the line religion guys. Multi, multi millionaires. Uh, and they may not practice what they preach. Danny McBride is hilarious. And he is the young son uh, who's about 50 who is going to inherit everything. There's violence, there's laughter, there's drama. It's the Righteous Gemstones. If you haven't seen it, check it out. But I'm going to take you inside tonight for the Righteous Gemstone party. Okay guys, here we go, we're setting up. And this is the, uh, sorry, the Righteous Gemstones. And there's uh, Danny McBride. There's uh, John Goodman. Where he's a very famous television evangelist who's worth tens of millions of dollars. This is his young cutthroat son who will do anything to take his position. Here's the youngest son who's absolutely insane and the daughter's probably the craziest of all. And everything you see, they're on a solid gold chariot because they are the righteous gemstones. And uh, they live in mansions. Each one has their own mansion. This guy has like 20 Ferraris. Really cool show. If you haven't seen it, make sure you check it out. And uh, you'll be able to catch it on HBO and HBO Max. You see they're setting up uh, all kinds of chairs and they've got seating and couches so there's obviously going to be a Q&A, a question. There's also popcorn and uh, gift bags. So it's going to be pretty cool. I got a Danny pretty McBride GQ magazine. He's the star of Righteous Gemstones. And uh, Kika, what do you think of the TV show Righteous Gemstones? Never seen it before. <laughs> you ever heard of it? Tasha? You ever heard of Righteous Gemstones? No. <laughs> What's wrong with you people, bro? Never Anyways, seen it uh, he's on the cover of GQ. Pretty cool. Then they had the world premiere of the season opener that's not out for a while, so everybody was really happy to see it. And uh, I can't bring you much of that because, again, it hasn't been out yet. It's a season opener. So there they go. There's John Goodman right there. And there's Danny McBride right there. And there's the dude from Glee right there. And uh, they're just uh, here for their pictures. I love the I love all of them. This is one of my favorite shows just to see them right here. It's great. There's John Goodman. Hey John. I'm a monster fan. I love this show. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you. I love the show, brother. I love everything you've ever been in. Congratulations. This one's a winner. Real good. What a nice guy. I went over and just met John Goodman. How cool is that, guys? The whole cast of the Righteous Gemstones. So I'm curious of what it was like now. And uh, the mega church, that, that's everywhere. There's a, there's a very like popular church. Uh, I mean, I don't even you would call it a company. I guess it's a franchise. I don't know. <laughs> They're all over Charleston. There are these massive buildings. And, and, and it's kind of a strong, genteel quality that makes you almost think you might be a Christian. Um, so <laughs> how, do, how do you, this is a dumb Basic question, but how did you approach this guy? How did you think about it? A lot more seriously than I do now. <laughs> I, 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 every season I find out 
something else. You know, I had the little biography of one in my head. Not the one that was Just justify where it went over on the page and what's on the page. I like it. Uh, you obviously uh, uh, <laughs> took vice principles and you've really done that as you are in this. Um, how did these guys find out, find you for the first time? Like, were you, aren't you like a gremlin? Still a gremlin? Uh, Always a gremlin? What they call now an alum. So I, I go to <laughs> improv shows there sometimes, but I don't do the main shows on the weekends. So that's an alum. <laughs> <laughs> And um, how do you, what was your way into the uh, childish, conflicted Kelvin? This is my life, man. This is, yeah, I'm arrested development, for sure. They saw every character that I've ever done, like, just some more of that. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I mean, I really like playing Kelvin. Normally, I kind of, when I'm writing for myself, and I write, like, uh, for workaholics, I write myself as a, as Judy Genstone, I'm a psychopath because it's super fun to play. So this was like a fun um, experience and exercise uh, to play a more subdued version and uh, and have some real heart, which Danny's cool enough to give me uh, some real scenes that are probably playing too straight. And I'm like, yeah, they're funnier though. We get it. You can cry every once in a while. Uh, so it's been it's been fun. Like. Trying to gauge that. Um, so how? Yeah, what's it like playing a woman? Um, it's real fun. Uh, it's it's hard though sometimes to carry the straight line when all the psychopaths are out. Um, but it's uh, I have a hard time not uh, laughing. Um, but you're right in what you say about about there being these moments where you're like, what's happening, and then all of a sudden you're in tears. Um, both, all three of these guys are really great at directing and finding those moments where um, you, you're in a world of um, crazy. Now, so sometimes you feel that. I mean, who knows? I mean, I think the, the language alone is probably off-putting for most people. <laughs> 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 David could feel this one. <laughs> uh, I don't think there were any in this episode, were there? So if you haven't seen, there was. There was one dick, yes. Yeah. I, I remember watching the episode where it's the, it's the videotape of you doing coke, and, and, and you're standing in front of the crew. Because Jim also plays Levi, who's, you know, an incredibly ineffectual crew member. And, uh, and you're standing there, and, and the dick is so close to your head, and I didn't watch my son clock that, and I've never seen him laugh so hard. So it, it was glorious, actually. You know, that, that, that video of, uh, like, in the pilot, or the video that Jesse's being blackmailed from, that was the very first thing we filmed in the show. It was just, like, that camera, and, and, and you know, everything, like, cutting loose, and dicks coming out. And uh, I think it kind of set a weird bar. I think we, you know, we, started, we started laughing at it and, you know, sometimes the dicks are written in, but sometimes these guys will just put the dicks in themselves. You know? Yeah, I feel like there's a one up going on. Plates and plates of food. Amazing to just 
like watch new abilities coming out of old friends and uh, and so it's really impressive to watch that growth, not just that he's individual. To go back east and make low budget films, right? <laughs> we were, I feel like we were guys from the south who were like trying to make it in LA. We had zero connections there. We were waiting tables and running and doing PA jobs and you know, you want to get that fat pad and fucking Glendale, that's, you know, that costs some money, you know, you run out of it, you know? <laughs> And so we would, I was always constantly running up against finances. Like it, I would get to a point where I was too much in overdraft and had to move home again. And I would wait tables or substitute teach and save up money and then move back out to LA again and like try again. It was, it was sort of that kind of for a few years. And uh, Jody was like, you, you know, David shot George Washington. He, was, he graduated a year before Jody and I. And like basically, like almost like the day after we graduated, you came back. I'm going to check out now, and I think they're going to have dinner upstairs. There's a reception upstairs. Hey, Danny, my favorite show, Playboy. Good job, man. Really. Amen. You're good. God bless you, man. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed a behind-the-scenes premiere party for the Righteous Gemstones. Uh, the party's up there on the level now. I'm going to head up there and eat some shrimp. How about that? You got the autograph guys waiting around outside. Uh, problem is they just sat down to eat, so they might be here a while. These are the uh, the big cars for the big shots. Uh, John Goodman was very sweet. Uh, Danny McBride I had never met before. John Goodman, I go way back, way back with him at Planet Hollywood days. But uh, Danny McBride, I'm a huge fan. He was super duper cool. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. When I walked out, people were looking at me like I was John Gooden. I don't think the stars are going to hang out that long. Usually I would hang out and get them for you, but I already got them. What do you want from me? Can I please go to McDonald's and eat my double cheeseburger now? I'm out of here. Uh-oh. Watch out for this guy. Watch out for this guy. All right. Proceed! All right. Get the hell out of his way. Uh, I think he might fight some autograph seekers. Get out of his way, folks.